Two U.S. Navy SEALs reportedly tried to bribe an Army Green Beret with dirty money before the Green Beret ended up dead. That's according to the reporting of the Daily Beast, which cites officials familiar with the case. The website reports the Green Beret, Sergeant Logan Melger, was in West, the West African nation of Mali when he discovered the SEALs were taking money from a slush fund for informants. And that's when the SEALs offered him a cut, and he refused. Sergeant Melger later turned up dead near the U.S. Embassy, the victim of strangulation. Jennifer Griffin with the news. She's live at the Pentagon. Jennifer, an, an investigation well underway. That's right, Shepard. Here's what we've learned about this mysterious death of a decorated Green Beret in June. We are learning the two SEALs, as you mentioned, members of elite SEAL Team 6, were already under investigation prior to this mysterious death of the Green Beret. They were alleged to have been involved in skimming cash from an informant's fund that the team used as part of a secret counterterrorism mission, mission in Mali. Staff Sergeant Logan Melgar, 34, was strangled to death at 5 a.m. on June 4th while staying at embassy housing in the capital with the two SEALs who are now under investigation. The medical examiner ruled it, quote, homicide by asphyxiation. The two Navy SEALs at first reportedly said that Melgar had been drinking when they took him to the hospital. The problem is Staff Sergeant Melgar didn't drink, and he had told his wife Michelle that he was having trouble with these two SEALs in emails back home. NCIS took over the investigation from the Army in September, Shep. Uh, Jennifer, when did superior officers say that they began to suspect foul play in Melgar's death. Almost immediately, we're told, red flags were raised when the autopsy report came back and said there was no sign of alcohol or drugs in Melgar's bloodstream. The SEAL's alibi began to fall apart. Their special operations commanders at AFRICOM headquarters in Stuttgart immediately ordered an investigation. Staff Sergeant Melgar was a well-respected member of the Army's 3rd Special Forces Group. He was handpicked for this mission. The embassy staff and ambassador respected him. The two SEALs are now being investigated, not just for murder, but also for their alleged involvement in skimming money that was supposed to be used to pay informants. One of the SEALs is reportedly a mixed martial arts specialist, Shep. Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon. Thanks.